Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah here from Sarah's Nail Secrets and this is my new puppy. I'm just kidding. I already have two puppies. This is my friend's puppy Timber and I'm just puppy sitting him for a few days. So he's gonna go back home on Tuesday. So I'm gonna show out about that. We're having lots of fun together. So I thought I'd show you guys his cute little face. So you guys have been asking me a lot to show you a nail room tour, but my nail studio is actually quite small and it's not really where I want it to be right at this moment. So I thought I'd just show you guys a little Ikea drawer <laughs> um, tour. Ikea drawer tour. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys an Ikea drawer tour. <laughs> okay. Ikea drawer tour. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you guys that. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my most used stuff because it's right next to me when I'm working and all my other stuff is put away in a cabinet and a closet and stuff like that. So this is my most used stuff, my favorite things and I'll just show you guys that because I know you guys still will like that because you always want to know what I'm using and you always want to see each other's collections and how they're organized. I soon plan to build my own big nail studio in my home and I uh, plan to make it much bigger, much better and have it way more organized so <laughs> when that gets done maybe I'll do some vlogs on the process of that getting done. I don't know. If you guys want to see that let me know because I'm probably doing that in about in the, the fall. That's when my dad said he'd be ready to help me out. So I'll get started right now and I'll show you guys my collection. Okay guys so this is my Alex drawer I think it's called. It's black. I prefer the white one, but I got a black one here because that's all they had at the time. So I have a computer in here along with my wedding bouquet, actually. My sister made this for me for my wedding and I like to keep it in my nail space because it's super pretty. Um, and it's fake flowers so I can keep it forever. That's what I want for. So I've got this cute little damask mouse pad and this is my computer I use to do online booking for my clients. Okay, so top drawer I'm not gonna show you because it's my personal stuff. I've got like a planning book here and I've got some like change for clients if they bring me cash and I have like lip gloss and my receipts. This is my personal section for myself, gum in there and sometimes snacks, stuff I need for work. So my second drawer here, this is all my giant collection of acrylic colors that aren't completely, you know, like in the same container. So, so all these containers right here are my Glitter Heaven Australia collection. You guys know how much I love Glitter Heaven Australia. I post about it all the time. So right here we have like schmuck. This is like a silvery pink rose white gold. <laughs> rose white gold. So that's that. This is my favorite one. This one's called Glitz and Glamour. This is the one I probably use the most. So these are right here. I have like just a bunch of their chunky glitters. I always write on top just so I don't get confused. For example, I have some glitters from Blazin Nails and so I don't want to get confused when I want to give credit to whose product I'm using so I write it on the top. Sometimes I'll write what the name is. So this is called Heavenly Delight by Glitter Heaven. So I wrote that on there just so I just wouldn't forget because I hate not giving you guys the names of what I'm using. A lot of these colors I have mixed myself using pigment like this one for example I think I used some elite pigments to make this pretty shimmery purple color and this one is like a really pretty greeny shimmer color that I mixed myself. It's very similar to some of the glam and glitz colors I have so I usually just go with glam and glitz if I have a color similar just because I prefer their formula and I like to give you guys the option to get the colors I'm using so that if you guys want it you at least could get it but if I pre-made it you can't really get it yourself so I prefer to just use the stuff that I can tell you where I got it from so right here is my own mix do you guys remember when I made that video uh, Sarah's secret sand so that's this one I haven't actually swatched it yet for my clients so I should probably do that soon actually now that I think about it some other brands I have in here right here I have magnetic magnetic brand this one's called glitter magenta so this is still one I have a f almost a a full thing of that is an actual brand that I didn't make myself. A lot of these jars may look like like INM and uh, here's another INM and here's another magnetic container but um, I actually just use containers instead of throwing them away just because it's more convenient. I'd actually rather get all new containers and redo this whole thing so they all matched but 
that doesn't really matter. That's just for my own personal organization. So here I've mixed some Glam and Glitz colors together to create like a darker purple and then I write down which ones I've mixed so that I know for when I post about it. Oh yeah, and I keep a lot of my Glitter Heaven loose glitters available for if anyone wants sugar nails. Here's some like grape soda and Glitter Heaven's Lemon Crush. So this drawer is my favorite drawer. This one is my Glam and Glitz drawer. I'm about to order some more, so I'm not gonna have any more space in here. There's very limited space now. This is my collection right now, but I'm about to order about 22 more in the upcoming few days here, so I'm gonna have to create more space for this. Maybe I'll have to take out my personal section and move everything up to create more space. That's fine, I'll figure it out. So right here I have, I have 12 from each collection they came out with. They came out with 24 and then another 24 and I have 12 of each. So you guys may have seen me use Afterglow a lot. This is a white with a purple glow to it and my absolute favorite one, Rekindle That Spark. You guys can't see it that well in this camera but it's like the brightest pink in the world. Then I have, currently I only have eight uh, color changing ones, I plan to get more because these are super fun. You guys have may seen me recently use Plum Mutation. This one is a pretty purple that goes like a nudie pink. It's really neat how that happens. I really like the color changing ones. The rest of these I've done in color coordination. So I have my blues and greens and greeny blues, my grays and taupes. Then I have my purples and my black and glitter and beyond pale, my favorite kind of what off-white color acrylic here and then I have some more purples and then I have my red my oranges my yellows more oranges this is my favorite rose gold color from them it's called adore super pretty I have oh look timbers come to join <laughs> I have some pinks a big pile of pinks here who doesn't love pink and my nudes go all the way to the end here so these is my collection. Oh, and I have a few of these glitter ones that are the glitter acrylic collection. They're a little bit bigger than the other ones. Makes it kind of weird for storage here, but I think it flows okay. This one is I ran out of Vanessa, so I mixed my own colors to make a fun color. So I made my own blue kind of color using the Glam and Glitz color, and then I always write again on the bottom of what I use so that I don't forget when I tell you guys. My next drawer is my art collection. So these are my in so then I have right here are my right here I have my light elegance sugars so I keep these in their container um, just makes it easier for me to grab them I color coordinate these as well I have whites golds pinks greens black orange rainbow purple blue copper and red and then in here I keep my pigments and my pretties I also have more pigments that I normally keep in here but I took them out recently because I was planning to do a video on how to mix your own acrylic colors and they just haven't got around to it yet. So normally they sit in these piles right here. I also have a big pile, if you guys can't see it, oh, right there, of striping tape and I keep my foils for doing unicorn and mermaid nails. Super handy for me, just really easy. Just the closest thing to my desk, just because I use this a lot. I also keep my starfish mold right here too, just because I use it super often. And then here's all my striping tape. In here we have some studs, some foils, stuff like that. Just some studs and foils and stuff. Some stuff I might use. And some dried flowers I got from Arts Desire Beauty Pro. The next drawer I have here is my stamping drawer. So I have sat and stamped the polishes that I think work the best for stamping. I do not keep them in here because it's just too cluttery and they fall over. So I just keep my favorite stamping polishes, which are the Clear Jelly Stamper polishes. I have eight colors here. If you guys want to see, I'll just show you that quickly. I have purple, green, blue, metallic color, red, a opaly white, white, teal, and black. So these are my most popular colors and I keep them av readily available. I also carry two different polish removers, not because I specifically like one over the other, I just use polish remover to wipe my stamping plates down. Here is my clear jelly stamper, I keep it available too, it is my favorite one. I put away all my other ones because this is the one I like the best. So this pretty container is from Clear Jelly Stamper and they have given me all these awesome stamping plates. These are the 
Stamping plates you put on top of each other for a cool effect that kind of looks like you did some hand painting. So I have a big book of this and it's super pretty. It's almost like a rose gold holographic. Rose gold is my favorite if you guys didn't know that. So I love this book. I keep this in here to wipe my polish off my stamper. As you can see how easy that comes off. So that's what I use this for. In here we have my favorite brushes. I have some of the Selena, oh I have all of Selena Ryden's new brushes. I just did a video on those. So these are the new Selena Signature Series brushes that are right here and here and here. I have my Ugly Duckling brushes, my Bio Seaweed Gel brushes. I have a Crystal Nails brush. This is my one stroke brush. Uh, I've been practicing some one stroke, I'm not very good at it yet. Hopefully one day I will be. This is my cuticle tool by Ugly Duckling. This is my Omni tool. It's basically a dotting tool. And here are some of my uh, gel brushes. I've got my Light Elegance and some Elite brushes right here. This is my Bundle Monster container to hold all my stamping plates. I'm not a big fan of the way that this is done because a lot of the stamping plates actually don't really make sense. Some of these stamping plates are Christmas and then they're also mixed with fall and stuff like that. It's just really confusing. Like this one, it's got a reindeer and a snowflake and a dove. Like what? I don't get it. But <laughs> I don't even know. No, that is Bundle Monster. I don't know. It's just really hard to organize these so I just keep them in this container if someone wants stamps. So just hand them the book and they can look through it, find something they like. I find it actually really difficult. Here I've got some steampunk, got some blood drips, some Halloween design, fingerprint for more Halloween, more Halloween. Lots of Halloween in here. Some hearts for Valentine's Day, more Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. Got some this is, I've had for about eight years, this stamp. Little Timber came to say hi. He wants to be in the shot. Got some Hello Kitty. I had a client give me this stamp, actually. So yeah, I also have this one stamping plate. It's just like a big stamping plate. I don't actually know what brand it is. I just got it from eBay, so I haven't really cleaned it off very well. But this is just a lace stamp. So I just really like the lace. I use this one a lot. Right here I have my current crystals. So these are the ones I use. Every day I have some chunky iridescent AB ones, some clear ones. These ones are that kind of opal look. Green, some crystal clear. I have these like little studs. Black, gold, reds, pinks, orange. I need to actually stock up soon, but I like this little container. I got this from Canada Nail Supply and I think it's just really handy to have. Keeps it nice and organized. And everybody always asks me what these are. These are just from the dollar store. I just place my crystals on them for easy uh, to pick up and put on my client's nails. Just makes it easier to put back into the containers. The next drawer I have here is my gel polish drawer. So I've gotten all my bio seaweed gels. I used to have these in order by Unity versus 3-in-1, but they got mixed up, so I'm just gonna pull this one up. This is a Unity all-in-one, so they can dry without a top coat. They dry completely tack-free. Super beautiful. This one's called Wild Cherry. So right here I have my Light Elegant Summer Buzz, so I have Bee in Your Bonnet. This one is my favorite one. I don't have a lot of light elegance yet, but hopefully in the future I will have some more. These are my gel paints. So these are the light elegance gel paints. I've showed you guys these in a video already. These are the pastel collection. And then I have a bunch from Elite that I really like. Over here I have some crystal nail 3D gel. So sometimes I do some designs with that. You guys may have seen me do some lace designs with that before. I'd like to get some black. Right now I just have the white. Right here is my Kira Sky collection. I don't really have a lot yet. Yet, but so far I have, this one's my favorite. This is Spellbound, such a pretty color. I'm actually wearing that right now on my nails. So right here I have my Ugly Duckling collection. I always keep an extra no wipe down at the bottom here. And I have a mat down here too, just so I don't run out. So right here I have a six of the Bio Seaweed Gel Aurora collection. These ones change color from heat and light. They glow in the dark, so they're great. In light they turn white, I think, and then in warmth versus cold they change and they glow in the dark. So they're pretty cool. I actually have a video up on that if you guys are interested. And then we have my giant Jelly Fit Australia collection right here. So this is my giant Jelly Fit Australia collection right here. I have my Swarovski collection, so these have tiny chunks of Swarovski inside of the gel, so it's been ground up in there, so it's a little bit shimmery of colors, so I really love these colors. Right here we have 
These are from the Bohemian collection. But yeah, it's like a pretty mauve, this one. I'll show you guys. Basically, the bows represent the color perfectly. Over here, we have the Get Buffed collection by Sarah from Get Buffed Nails. She helped collaborate with Jelly Fit, and I have her collection here. It's super beautiful. I love all these colors. Little unicorns. Over here we have the spring collection. There's a ton in this collection. They're all super pretty. They have different lids on all of them. The little bows on the bottles. I just think it's so cute. All my clients are always like, oh my god, that bow is so cute. I'm like, I know. Over here we have the Vivid Colors collection, I think it's called. These are like some neons. They've got like a leopard print design on the lid. I think that's pretty cute. And then I have these ones. And this is the Nostalgia collection, Vintage Nostalgia. And then I have the Marshmallow collection, that is these ones, right here. I also have the Christmas collection. And I have some a glitter collection over here. I think I have exactly 99 colors from Jelly Fit Australia, so that's that. So it may not look like I have a lot, but right here is, this is my entire gel collection. So I've got all of those that I showed you. So that's four rings of gels right here. These are my gel polishes. And I haven't finished swatching everything I own. So these are just the ones you saw. And then my acrylic collection may, not appear as big as it is, but I do it by color coordination. I have blue, purple, blue stuff, greens, oranges and yellows, gold, pink, red, black and silver, nude, sugars, and my dark blues. These are all my acrylics. And here's all my gels. So I have a lot to choose from. <laughs> uh, you can just, just never have enough color, so I just can't stop getting new stuff. <laughs> And I used to create a lot of my own colors, so I also have a ton of colors that I've made myself with pigments, which I plan to make a video showing you guys how to make your own colors with pigments, so if you want to see that, uh, let me know in the comment section. Me and Lil Timber here are going to go play in the backyard, so have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!